You cannot teach people how to be a CISO. The only way to be a CISO is be a security engineer for 12 years, threaten to leave the company if they don't promote you and get the CISO title. <laughs> and, and I sort of read that. I was like, ah, because that's the problem. Now, there are cases where world-class security engineers, if they do a mind shift, can become a world-class CISO. But the problem is world-class security engineers that are super technical typically don't make good CISOs because it's completely different. And a great example is, and this is sort of my CISO test. You're sitting at your desk and all of a sudden you get a text that one of your servers has been compromised. One of your systems has been broken into. What do you do? If your answer is, I immediately run into the data center, or I immediately, if you're working from home, uh, connect into the system with SSH, analyze, look at what's going on, analyze the logs, determine the extent of damage, determine the extent of compromise, congratulations. You're a world-class security engineer. You would make an awful CISO. On the other hand, if you said, well, the first thing I would do is get my team together, I would start to task them saying, look at this, look at this, check those logs. I would then say, get back to me in 45 minutes. I immediately call the CEO of the company and give them an update and say, I'll get back to you in an hour. You would be a world-class CISO, but it's a completely different mindset. CISOs are focused on the business and world-class security engineers are focused on technology and technical solutions. What's, what's the quote that you have on Twitter and LinkedIn? A CISO is not a technical job. Exactly. Right, right. Yeah. The CISO is not a technical career path for security engineers. But it does. It does help. But it also does hinder this this people conversation. And I spend a lot of time trying to educate people getting into this 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 business. And I tell them like ninety percent of the time you're talking to people who aren't technical. Right. So you need to be able to learn how to communicate. 